Hey, DOT community, it's Jaeger giving you your talk of Titans for October 4th, 2018, and let's run through the list of everything we've got. Number one, we got a few things running up for next week. Monday, there's going to be a Titans Unleashed featuring Rangers. We're also going to see early in the week a Battle Frenzy, which of course is your three times drops, and they have recently updated the drops. Over 20 new relics included. Uh, many of these will be Storm Maiden, uh, Storm Maiden relics uh, for units you've got storm maiden uh the storm spells we also are going to have the all new dragon helms and goliath belts uh, all the variant different uh resists are included in that uh they're also looking at a 1.26.1 update we'll eventually have uh if not that one then soon the battle stutter fix that goes on right at the end uh, beginning of the battles we also see some updates coming to divine gems the 500 altar has changes this hopefully is coming next week they said so definitely don't spend uh, what they're hoping to introduce is more combat relics included. Again, that's a big maybe. Uh, they're also going to be looking into archers, and they are also still looking into Goliaths overall, still uh, eyeballing the different balance for within the game. Uh, we also have uh, some other updates coming to the game, We're talking about balance, the all uh, new players that enter the game. We are going to see some tutorial updates, uh, as well as the way that upgrades work for newer players, helping them get into the battle a lot quicker uh, and getting them into the higher leagues being more competitive. Uh, again, this way it makes it more appealing for those new players. We also have uh, some different ideas and research for uh, correcting, quote unquote, the whole garrison map issue that's going on. Uh, they've got a number of ideas from just making certain levels have a standard map or rotation or whatever that might be, but they're pitching some ideas around. Uh, we also did get a hint at a uh, new Halloween event. They said there's definitely going to be an event, and they even actually said new Titans. All right, so plural. Uh, hopefully, we definitely see Calvrax return. Uh, don't forget about Astros always out there. But they did say new Titans, so maybe we'll see something new. They are also looking into new avatars. Uh, Ian from the live stream, he's been on there before, has actually made a number of them. It's just a matter of getting them into the game. Uh, Matt also hinted at possibly making different avatars available at different unlock features, kind of like you see in many other games where, depending on a different status that you reached or milestone that you achieved, uh, that you would maybe get unique avatars. They also have some other ideas uh, for events around forging that have been going on, uh, maybe some forge-specific relics, ones that specifically might get from events or during events that would go straight into forging. They don't offer any type of troop boost. They just offer forging uh, XP. Uh, they're also still, again, looking into uh, archers and cats uh, and champs that are all kind of get stuck on the map, uh, walking in circles. Uh, archers, again, their damage that came up quite a bit. Uh, and the cats getting stuck and just kind of jabbing at the ground. They also, right near the end, uh, mentioned uh, a, a viewer post a comment about Almorand and a quiff immediately went into like, oh, I don't know who that is. Who is that? So I myself take that as a hint that we may certainly see Almorand coming into the game and hopefully in the not too distant future. That is a rundown of all the updates that we got throughout the live stream. Of course, we also got a look at the brand new Titan, uh, which is also in the event rundown. So once again, I'm Gimmin Jaeger, and that's your talk of Titans for October 4th. I'm signing out.